Just like in 1903, when Ohio's own Wright brothers, in 1908, when the first Model T rolled off the assembly line in Detroit, our world is changing and there's no turning back. We're going to spend about $2 million, or the equivalent of less than 1% of our combined capital and operating projects on this DSRC technology. That's everything. All the hardware, all the software, everything it takes to get it done. Less than 1%. I think our expenditures, ODOT's expenditures, our other Drive Ohio partners, and the investments that you may pursue in your communities are modest and necessary to make our infrastructure safer and our economy stronger. So why is the Turnpike doing it? Specifically, the project we're doing and why we're doing it is because we want to operationalize the technology. We want our employees to learn how to be proactive instead of reactive. Our goal is to monitor systems and analyze data to act before something tragic happens instead of waiting for the phone call or the radio transmission after a crash. Our maintenance supervisors can monitor road conditions and fleet operations in real time. We also want to capture the benefits of it. People ask, this is not about press releases. This is about getting real things done. It's about participating in the world as it's changing. People ask me, are you still going to, you know, this new money you're putting in, you still going to fill the potholes? You still going to seal the cracks? You still going to snowplow? Absolutely. We believe there's value that can be returned from this, and we want to prove that question, that hypothesis. If, in addition to those safety benefits, we should be able to get immediate efficiency gains. Our annual snow and ice costs are over $10 million for labor and materials. There's a significant opportunity for savings if we deploy the staff at the right time, reduce our materials or deploy them only when they're needed and at the time they're needed before things start to accumulate. So we think those are all great opportunities for us.